Hello, good day, and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer Ministries. I want to thank you for watching the video, sharing the video with your family and your friends, so together we can be an encouragement to others, and together we can share the gospel. And today I'm going to be reading Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lay down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life and I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now I believe this is probably one of the most known chapters in all of the Bible. While it is only six verses long, we can learn so much from our Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 1 it says, He is our shepherd. He is the great shepherd. In Matthew 18, 12, says, Look, he looks for the lost. The parable of the hundred sheep. He leaves the ninety-nine to go look for the one that is lost. But he cares so much for all that he does not want to lose even one. Matthew chapter 12 verse 11 and 12 and he said to them what man is there among you who has a sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath will he not take hold of it and lift it out how much more valuable than is a man than a sheep so then it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath Our Lord, He cares for each of us. When, he's, when we have fallen, He will stop and pick us up, lift us out of the danger that we're in. Jesus goes out looking for those that are lost. And he will find you. And when he finds you, 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 be, you become his sheep. And he becomes your shepherd. In John chapter 10 verse 27 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Jesus being the, the shepherd. He hears, the sheep hear his voice. For the sheep cry out to him. And when we belong to him, the Lord knows us. He knows everything about us. He knows our hearts, He knows our mind, He knows our desires, and the sheep follow the Lord, they the follow the Lord, the sheep have to know the shepherd, they know His voice. And when 
the shepherd calls out to them, they respond. They go where he goes. In verses 2 to 3 of Psalm 23, it shows us what the Lord gives to us. But he gives us rest. He gives us food. Not just the physical, but he gives us spiritual food, that which is the Word of God. The Bible is the Word. Jesus is the Word. If you know the Bible, you know the Word. And you know Jesus. The Lord also gives us safety in salvation. We are saved from death. This is the spiritual death. What everyone at some point in their life will die. Unless the Lord comes back while we're still alive. We have safety from the wrath, the wrath of God. And we receive righteousness. The righteousness that we have with Jesus is God's righteousness. Because of Jesus. For Jesus. In verses 4 to 6, we see death becomes an only for there's a shadow of death that we walk through that evil has no hold on us we have freedom not freedom to live our lives how we want we have freedom from sin and death we have freedom not to continue in sin, to, but become sinless. And our shepherd, he directs us, he trains us, he disciplines us, corrects us when we need to be corrected, shows us the path that we need to take to keep us safe and to keep us sinless. And we have the Holy Spirit that comes upon us, that gives us gifts for Jesus' sake, and to produce fruit in our lives. These fruits can be seen in Galatians 5.22, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. For all of these should follow us for the rest of our lives. One act of looking from our Lord, our Shepherd, and one act of faith, receiving salvation, we get so much from the Lord. Our Lord, He cares for us. That He gave Himself up on the cross for our sins. Taking upon all of our sins, being sinless Himself. So we can have rest. We can have safety. And we can take upon us His righteousness. Lord, I thank you for you being our shepherd, for you are the great shepherd that does not want to see even one lost. For one lost, 
you would go find them, pick them up, and carry them to safety. You give us so much that we do not deserve. You give us your word that if we only search the word, we know you, we know Jesus, we know the life that we are supposed to live, to walk through in the shadow of death and remain sinless. That we do not have to fear the evil around us. And I thank you that you train and direct us in the paths of righteousness. Today, I know somebody will be listening to this. Every time this is played and shared, to be shared with somebody that needs you. They are lost. They need the Lord, they need the shepherd to find them, to pick them up, to bring them to salvation. And today, the day they hear this, they will be saved. To begin a new life, free from sin. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you the opportunity today, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he lived among us sinless he, and he died and rose again. Today, you can ask for forgiveness from the Fa Heavenly Father. I ask you just to repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your Son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins. And I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer sincerely and honestly, Jesus is now your Savior and Lord. I want to encourage you to continue your spiritual growth, to read the Bible, learn more about Jesus. How to imitate Christ to become a Christian and to pray to God the Father and hear Him speak to you and hear the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit speak as the Holy Spirit teaches you reveals what you need to hear as you read the Bible to 
know more about Christ and how to imitate Christ to become a Christian, to live the life that we're supposed to live, that is pure, holy, and sinless.